Hello and welcome to Monkeys with Fire. You join me tonight on another Tabletop Tuesday and this evening we shall be playing an advanced preview of the upcoming release of Escape Tales Low Memory from Board and Dice. In Escape Tales Low Memory, Players will delve into stories of three characters to uncover, step by step, the plot that connects them all. So prepare for three immersive storylines with a heavy dose of plot twists. Escape Tales Low Memory will surprise you on more than a few occasions. It is the year 2060. Elizabeth is packing her bags and saying goodbye to her husband. They are going on a family trip, but Elizabeth promises to catch up once she has dealt with finishing a research project. A moment later, she looks at her husband's autonomous vehicle leaving the driveway, her thoughts already drawn towards her work. Another normal day, or at least that's what Elizabeth believes. Next morning, Elizabeth wakes up on her sofa. She's having a horrible headache and her home is trashed, turned upside down as if someone had broken in. Although she keeps trying, she is unable to recall anything since the moment she had left work. She decides to use the memory read machine. It's the perfect tool, isn't it? However, each technological development comes with a price. As every week, you are cleaning up the house. Nobody is here, so there will be no distractions. It's best to start from Ben's office. Ben is your husband and a security systems specialist. The moment you enter, the door slams shut behind you, and all security systems go online. Ben has warned you that this could happen. Unfortunately, you left your phone in the living room, so there was no way for you to call him. However, you still remember him saying, to leave the office, you'll have to shut down each and every machine there and unlock the security measures. The lasers will power down and you'll be able to leave without a problem. Your ears start to hurt from the alarms vibrating in the room. You must find a way to turn it off and get out of here. So here we go, we put down the game board. We've been told to select our card. This is our office. Four action tokens. And we're gonna place one in area C3. You can forgive your husband a lot, but lasers are a bit too much. Take card 11. You will be placing tokens in order to gain access to its text. Remember that the tokens you place here must be the progress tokens, yellow discs, and not the action tokens that you have in your game hand. Now choose any part of the room you want to explore. To proceed, place one of the tokens you receive to use in the game on the chosen area of the map card and read the paragraph it leads you to. You may repeat this multiple times as long as you have tokens available. If you run out of action tokens, you may take a stress card, it will provide you with more tokens. So we now have an additional element to the game. We are trying to collect tokens. You may only place a token on this card when instructed to by the game. If all three tokens have been placed, we then read a new paragraph. All right then guys, you know the format. You have three actions. Where would you like to search first? So Sarah's saying the desk. Instar is saying the laptop. Is everyone in agreement for the laptop then, yes? Ben's computer. It's a good thing that he set up an account for you. Still, maybe it's better to log in on his account. You must decide which account to choose. Knowing your husband, you'll find something that will help you open the safe on his computer. This is a puzzle card. Find its symbol in the app uh, where you can input an answer. Check how many cards you need to solve it or get a hint. So we need to work out the password. So it's still a process of searching. You need to find another card that's going to help you solve this puzzle. Could it be password one, two, three? <laughs> Do you want me to try it? All right, I will try it. It is unsurprisingly the wrong answer. <laughs> so I think you need to scrutinize the room a little bit more. Lorna suggests grab the trophy. It's clearly a switch to open the secret door. 
Have you had a good look at this one? The vacuum has had a hard day. <laughs> Ah, but Super Sarah notices that the wall picture has a pup and a cat on it. So what are people saying? I think Sarah is absolutely shouting for the pic on the wall of the cat and the dog. All right, D1 it is. Our darlings, it's great that Ben has her photo. Can you see that clearly? The cat is called Nightwalker and the dog is called Stegosaurus. Okay, so we now have the two cards. So it will just be a matter of typing in the password. Which do you want to go for? Do you want to go for Nightwalker, as in Elizabeth's account, or Stegosaurus for Ben's account? Okay, you manage to log into your account. You see some weirdly looking photos on your desktop. You have one action token left. Where would you like to go? You know what, if I was Elizabeth, I would have divorced Ben years ago. I mean, locking you up in his, his room, having to go through all these hoops to uh, be able to get out. So Instar, you're saying B1 for the notebook? <laughs> ben possibly does need therapy, yes. Yes, I totally agree. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so last action token on to B1. Another example of Ben's sentimentalism his journal, where he writes down all dates from children's birthdays to visits to the garage. You doubt if it can be useful to you now. You will not receive any cards here. Choose carefully the spots you approach as they sometimes do not provide you with anything. However, there might be some helpful information in the text itself. Unfortunately, you find out nothing new this time. All right, so this now means that we get to pick up the bonus card. Boy, am I stupid. Why can't I just have my phone on me where always? In this house, filled with Ben's weird security test devices, having the phone close by, I could call him at any time. Well, now I will have to check all of this. This is going to take a while. So we get an additional 10 tokens. Sarah's saying the trophy. So is Instar. Pascal's just saying everywhere. Let's do B3 then. You find the digital key in Ben's cup. There we are. We have a digital key. You want to check A1. All right, let's do that. The anti-burglary shutters are closed. This is one of the security measures you will have to unlock. Okay, do you think you've got some numbers there? So we're getting quite a few suggestions here. Are people ready to give me a definitive answer on this? The shutters have finally opened. A bit of sunlight is seeping inside. Uh, one progress token. There we are. We have a check done. So where would you like to go next? A3. A3 is... Ah, yes. Yeah, some sort of device, isn't it? We don't know what that qu quite is. A3. Okay. We will check out the futuristic fax machine. Ben's mechanism levers. He's very modern, but sometimes he still likes obsolete technologies. So again, there are no cards to be received here. This is a bit of a dead end. Snowyak is saying A2. Ben's system is displaying some schematics on the wall desktop 
these should help you turn on the 3D printer. Are you all tracing your fingers on the screen now? Trying to work out which one goes to the power. <laughs> I'll try and hold it nice and steady. Okay, so I guess you're going for D2. A 3D printer with its serial number exposed. Very useful device. Using it, Ben can fix almost anything without calling in any specialists. Okay, see what it is. This robot has always made you laugh, but this time it's looking very serious. Its defense mode is on, and you feel it's probably a good idea to turn it off. This is a pending card. You must find first an item with the correct icon to read the pending card's paragraph. We do have the icon. It is a smiley face. There it is, the smiley face. So we can now read the appropriate paragraph. You manage to turn off the robot with the security key. Place a progress token. There we go. We are now two thirds of the way to completing the room. So you're suggesting C2. I mean, there literally is only two locations, isn't there? So Ben's safe. You must get into it if you want to turn off the printer. As the off switch does not work, all the device's wires were hidden inside. Here we are. We have a puzzle card. Find its symbol in the app. Are you working out the combination? Does somebody want to uh, be decisive and volunteer what they believe is the winning combination? You open the safe with the fuse box. You'll have to insert the proper fuses in order to get the printer wires. People scrambling for paper and pens now. Yeah, it's a toughie, isn't it? <laughs> Lord, or <no>, I'm out. <laughs> this is just far too much brain power needed on this one. Phew, that was easy. All you have to do now is cut the right wire. Only which one? <laughs> I'm glad that you, you're you really thinking seriously about uh, electrical safety in the home. Is it plastic scissors? If we're going to cut a wire, a live wire? <laughs> Electrocution is probably preferable to whatever Ben has planned for us. <laughs> I feel like Ben's getting a bad rap. We hardly know the guy. Are we cutting with our plastic scissors blue or green? You managed to cut the right wire. Good work. You get a progress token. So there we are. We have all the progress tokens.
You manage to shut everything off. Lasers have deactivated and the door is now open. You start looking for a phone to call Ben and tell him you are very upset. All of this simply cannot work the way it does now. You don't even want to imagine what would have happened if your daughter had entered here. And there we are guys, that is the tutorial for Escape Tales Low Memory. <laughs> Can we kill Ben now? Well, I think maybe the, the text will be um, embellished a little bit more on because she says, I'm quite upset. I, I think I'd, I'd be a slightly more than quite upset with Ben. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I totally agree, Manda, that Ben either needs therapy, otherwise a divorce is on the cards, isn't it? Ooh, Lorna. There is no Ben. This is not real. This room is a metaphor for your mind inside the memory machine. You are the psycho. The cake is a lie. <laughs> so what did you guys think? Did you enjoy it? Pascal's loving it. Manda's saying better than the last one. Uh, Lorna, you liked it more than you expected. I'm curious to pick up Awakenings now. All right, everybody. Let's see who we need to thank. And that, of course, is Paranoid Spectre for his resub 11 months in a row. Thank you so, so much, Paranoid. Really appreciate it. So, thanks very much, everybody. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Uh, but until then, bye-bye for now.